Blunt Chris here from JLQ Knives, and I'm standing in my shop I just got done building for the future knife maker and designer in me. I'll be working right here. But today I got something special for you. I have the Westward Blades Barlow Flipper, my first custom flipping knife. Wes makes these in his home, fellow Minnesotan. I, uh, when I saw this thing, I had to get one, get my hands on one. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Here we go, the Barlow Flipper. Good morning. Um, again, I am sorry for any noise. I don't have a door on my shop yet that I uh, am in. Um, but this is going to be kind of the new area where I'll be doing my reviews, um, designing my first knife, uh, and starting to work on my knife skills. I, I'm a designer by trade. I have a lot of CNC experience, and I am a knife nut, uh, as you're aware. And I just wanted to kind of start maybe diving into making my own. But when I saw this, I had to have one. This is the Westward Blades Barlow Flipper. Um, Wes makes these in Minnesota, in his house, in his garage. Um, and just, I had to go, okay, this guy is kind of like living my dream. Um, I wanna see how he does it. I wanna see what somebody can do in their garage um, and so I, I, I saw, I saw, I just was doing a random search on Instagram on for knife, hashtag knife makers, stumbled upon, he had a green and like a tan and um, black brownish um, scale one of these that was on the market. His, that was his number one, the very first um, one on the production line out for sale. He made two prototypes, his and then his wife's. And then he made that production one. And when I saw it, I was like, oh man, I mean, look at that. It's just so classic, really clean lines. It's, it's like what I, it's like, I like, I needed, I'm like that, that's it. I, I want to have one. I want to try one of these out. Um, and so I messaged him on Instagram and said, what do I do? How do I get one of these? So this is my very first custom flipper from a, a maker that I never met, but I just, I just saw his web website and everything just looked really cool. Um, and making flippers at home, I, yeah, not a ton of people do it for, I think, good reason. And, um, but Wes is doing a really good job. Uh, is it perfect? No, but we'll get into that. Um, so I, you know, he said, pick your scale cutters. We went through a few options. Uh, and, uh, this is what I came up with a uh, really nice, fun, Royal blue, white in between the black, kind of bolster look um and i really really like it so let's run down some specs came in first off in this uh, you know nice little pouch um he did end up now getting the uh nice taco shell clam shell um to ship those in so that's really cool how he's been you know it, it's as i'm gonna be talking it, he's evolving as as he goes so I'm gonna run over the specs. I also got this piece of paper in here that has the specs. So it's um, 0 0.110 CPM S35VN steel. So that's your that's your uh, width here. Your your thickness of your blade is a uh, hundred and ten thou. Um, you have your liners are 063 titanium, um, and then the pivot is a 3/8 titanium pivot. Um, your blade overall is 2.75. Your overall of the knife is 6.75. You have an, uh, just a about a three ounce, so you're almost at the uh, ounce per inch um, for this. I mean, it really is a very, very light knife, only three ounces. Again, mine's blue, black, and white G10. Um, got a hand satin finish and a saber grind, and it's 18 degrees edge. And this thing is 
wicked sharp. I'll uh, cut to some knee, slice with some paper. Um, Wes definitely knows how to keep this bad boy sharp and um, he does not disappoint. Um, again, this is heat treated, um, plate quenched, cryo treated and tempered. Um, really fun what Wes was doing on Instagram. He was sending me like these daily updates um, and, and I'll, I'll throw those in here too, of, of the evolution of this thing being built from the liners pin, being pinned and then the cryo treat um, and then the, when he got the G10. I mean, it was just so much fun to watch this thing evolve and turn into reality. So what are my thoughts? Um, let's go over a lot of pros. Pros for me uh, and just my, my take. I, I'm kind of getting away from the word review. This is just my take on the um, the Barlow Flipper from Westwear. Uh, love the lines, love the aesthetic. It is just a great looking knife. Um, it's, it's really nice in the hand, has a really good four finger grip behind the uh, flipper tab there. Um, got, a, got a nice grip and a nice sharpening choil. Really easy blade to sharpen, you know, a great shape, which I do appreciate. Um, overall fit and finish is really, really nice. Really crisp, clean lines. We'll come back to that and maybe some cons, but I do like how everything is crisp, you know, nice contoured. Everything's very even. Blade centering is just perfect. Um, action, it's really good. Coming back to the, I, when I first got it, it was a little soft on the detent and I did have a little bit of blade play. Something that Wes is no more, he's like, whoa, I, I don't know what happened there. Send it back. Um, I mean, he hadn't built it. He, nice thing is he's a Minnesota, so I sent it right back to him. Wes is so top notch. I just want to make sure you, you're aware. I mean, he, I sent him a video. He's like, yep, let's get that back to me. Something may have happened during shipment I, or something. I, I don't know, but it wasn't the way it was when he left the shop. So we definitely looked back at it. He actually gave me a little more um, detent, which I appreciate um, before I could get this thing to fail with a really light flick. Um, but now this thing is just fires every time. I'm trying to just do a light. I can, okay, there's a little, do you on the tip? It's hard. It, it's a, I mean, for a fully custom in-house knife, I'm, I'm really happy with the detent and, and just it fires every time for me. Really hard to get it to fail unless you try. Um, I really love liner locks as well because you don't have, I, I love a frame lock. But with this, you know, you never, you never have to worry about getting your hand in its way. I mean, it just, that's what I love about a liner. I think that's one really a kind of reason that the bolt, the bolts went to a liner lock. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so my shop is actually in the garage. I kind of added into our, we have a pretty large garage. Um, so the wife just came home and, uh, oops. So talking about the liner lock, I think that's a lot of the reason. I, I, I do like how the Holtz went to a liner lock. Um, and my good friend Chris has a Spectre um, frame lock V3 and uh, love this try a V4. Um, but I think that was like nice. You just don't have to worry about your hand being on there. Um, overall, I think, you know, good, good hardware, you know, it's all, all purchased, but, um, it looks really good with the aesthetic. I like, you know, the silver pit with the silver blade, all hand satin, um, very nicely done. Picked, he had let me choose my back hard, but I really like the black hardware with the black clip. I think everything just, for me, I mean, it just turned out just great, just phenomenal. He does have a hope to where he, if you know, I get bored of this, maybe I could order different scales from him. You just unscrew, take off your scales, put them back on. Since it's a full liner, um, it's just a great idea, I think. So overall, great fit and function, great aesthetic, um, really, really nice in and out of the pocket. Um, it's definitely not a deep carry pocket clip, as you can see, um, but it really rests nicely. I like how it's offset, a little bit canter, brings it to the light, right side of the pocket. One really cool thing um, that I also received, I mean, Wes was just so awesome, um, but his wife designed these up, sweet little um, leather pouch. He gave me a, uh, I love these little polka pens. This thing is just awesome. So I always got a pen with me. And it's designed for a mini mag light. And then you can just slip in your uh, Barlow flipper there. So what I've been doing, I actually been using that 
And I've been using, um, putting my, I actually ordered a smaller flashlight maybe to put in here. Um, but I've been putting my Chumney pry tool in right there as well. Really goes nice in the pocket. And uh, it's just kind of, nothing really poking out of my pocket now. It just kind of sits in there, nestled in my pocket. I really enjoy it. And I just actually, when I sat down, I'm like, oh, I wonder if my, my flashlight could go in there too, if I ever wanted. Um, and it does, it fits in there nicely. So yeah, really cool. I don't know if these are gonna go on the market. Um, I think this is just one of the first prototypes, but Wes, thank you. And uh, Mrs. Wes, <laughs> thank you as well. Very cool, love this. You should definitely put this um, where we can purchase these. I think those would be a uh, really nice item. So a few of the uh, uh, kind of negatives for me, um, and I think Wes is actually evolving. I mean, every this is number two um, off the production line, production line. And um, I've already seen number three. Um, he did an orange and black and white. Oh, it just turned out great. Um, but he already made a few improvements to what I could see. He, for mine, as you can see in the liner area, I don't have really have any relief here from my thumb. So being a knife addict that I am, I, uh, yeah, it hurts. Um, and I definitely get a little really sore thumb or a uh, nice nail um, indentation for shoving my thumb in that liner. I mean, thing is just great. He even has, a, he does have a, um, a ramp on the detent. Uh, forgot to mention that. Love all those things, but I really wish I had more room right here. I think his one, he actually has a little bit of a half moon here for your thumb. And he put some little indentations here. I would love like a full chamfer right here. And then same with that indentation. I think that'd be really nice. I don't want, I think his aesthetic here to keep this clean is really, really smart. And it just looks great. You know, a lot of times you have like a big thumb hole here. I think keeping this flat is great. I just think some little more room here for your thumb would be a lot more comfortable. Also with those um, really crisp lines, which I love, is the flipper tab. This thing is pretty sharp um, and maybe a little bit of rounding or chamfering here would, I think, just bring it to the next level. That also maybe even bring it into the crown. Um, it's not that this isn't as sharp, but it, you can tell it's, I think there's a, just a slight chamfer on there or, or deburring tool. but. I mean, just, uh, yeah, whatever you do here, do here, or whatever you're doing here, do here. Um, I think that would be, just lend itself for the overall feel of the knife. Um, but conclusions, um, it's great. I really, really, really like it. I think Wes did just a phenomenal job. And uh, I am astounded um, at what a determined knife nut can do in his garage. And that's what inspires me to try this out. So I'm designing right now some knives, doing a lot of doodles on my Instagram. Uh, I think I'm getting close to, uh, to a design that I really um, connect with. And that's what like, like this was when I want it, when I see it, like when I saw this, for me, I mean, I love, I love aesthetics, right? And how people gravitate towards things, but this was like, wow, it just, I just fell in love. It just was like, one of those things, I gotta have that. and. For $350 to have a hand-built, customized, picked scales, for me, it was an for me that was a no-brainer. Um, and also, Wes was so cool. I mean, he was chatty. We could talk. I've talked on the phone with him. Just a great guy. It's like, yeah, I want to support this maker. I'm gonna buy another one of these in a year, and I can't wait to see what my version two, you know, my, or version one, but number two on the line compares to a year from now. Cause I think Wes, um, I really wish, really hope you just completely blow up. Cause this thing is just great. I mean, and this, this is where you're starting. I can't wait to see what it becomes. Um, so if you're in the market for a really fun, classic looking knife um, with a great action, really awesome aesthetics and just an overall cool maker to support. I really want you to look up Westward Blades on the old Instagram. Uh, he definitely has a website as well. I'll um, put the link below uh, um, to his website and his Instagram handle. And uh, yeah, please give him a look. Um, so is it perfect? Not right now, but he's evolving. And it's uh, every, I think everyone's gonna get better and better and better. 
And uh, I like that about um, the kind of the custom world. Um, and I'm really proud to have this in my collection. It's never going anywhere. This is my first custom flipper. I can't get rid of that. It's too good. It's too awesome. So yeah, thanks so much. Hope you all have a great day and uh, we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.